Hello there. If you work with Stable Diffusion or want to start work with Stable Diffusion, but don't know what to use, Aftermatic, Comfy, as in X or any other versions, I think this is a very interesting solution. What is a saying? It's can from one interface you can do everything. You can even install library from CVI. You can install all options, properties, and different things. So it's what we're going to try. Right now we're going to try to install it. See how easy install based on what the reviews what they say it's supposed to be very very easy and we'll see how it's actually work and if it's work very well it should be very easy solution very simple for those who want to install a stable diffusion on the computer but still a little bit not sure how to do all of the settings if you're interested i will provide link down below for you to go to this place and what you need to do scroll a little bit down under the all repository where it says Windows, Linux, Mac, select which one you need it, click and download this file. First, when you launch, you will have this screen with identify what video card you have it, and it is identify RTX 3090 24GB, and also ask you for the agreement. I know, I'm a little bit nerd, but I do like going and read what they actually ask, and it's very usual, very um, templating actually. In general words, they're not responsible if something go kaboom on your computer, so doing on your own risk. Okay, we'll go ahead, click Select, and click Continue. Okay, next it will become Configuration, and it says where it's going to install model checkpoint and everything. By default, it's going to my user directory. I don't want to install there. And reason, because my C drive is my SSD drive with smaller, and I like to work on my data. So I'm going to change this to the D drive. Also notice right here it's have a portable mode. Portable settings store on the same directory as application. You'll able to move application with data folder and different location on the computer. So it is um, kind of nice in a way like you install stable diffusion because you can put everything in one folder. But I'm just going with data directory this way. Let's go ahead and click continue. And now we can have kind of set up where you can select what installation you want so right here it says search prefer interface most popular stable diffusion that's what using automatic 11 11 i already have this kind of installed next we have um focus this is a more simplified way you can experiment invoke this is nice i use it and it is have room to grow but it's very limited with some options compared to the stable diffusion comfy people like it's very nice node based very com you can create very complex stuff here which is kind of very interesting to explore this as well okay next we have volta ml nice again but a little bit on the less complex compared to stable diffusion and focus me so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select SD next with UI. This one, and we'll just go ahead and click install. Notice it is installing, extracting all necessary components to this. As well, it should go and verify we have a properly version of the Python and all necessary libraries. Right here, you can see it is identified packages and installing them. I do have a pirate torch already installed on my system and this and maybe installing on that version so or try if it's smart enough install them locally so they don't interference with the global versions on this case it will be more in container based uh, installation okay and right here we have our installation completed by the way if you want to install more than just one package you can go down click on the packages and add additional so we're not just limited to only one type you can have it um compi ui you have it there also automatic 11 11 and all stuff. so let's go ahead right now check more what we have it in the stability matrix ui i'm going to a little bit expand to take whole screen we have it our hamburger expansion where we have it our lunch available um, interfaces so currently this is just a one we install it we 
have it also interface ready here ready to launch notice we don't have it any models and if we click on configuration yeah we don't we need to install some models that we're missing currently here let's go on the checkpoints and i'll notice we don't have it any checkpoints at all we can go ahead and drag and drop to import but we'll go ahead and um, explore and I think explore if we're going to the model browser we can try to search here I'm not checking show NSF so we'll just search for uh, safer workplace models and you can see it's pull out plenty of them the one is the Excel unstoppable so let's just select one of them and try import it so I'm going to select import latest is the Excel one zero it will take a little bit time to download it and of course right now we're going with the highest rated so we can also go ahead try unload it in different and right here we have it some error i think the error is happening because we're still downloading so we'll check if we can download it another ones after this done and so right here we installed few checkpoints let's go back to our interface and we'll see yep we have right here a few of them install it and i think we let's go try to launch see how it will work so okay we're launching inside our interface and here we're ready you can see it's come up and says open web ui so it's launching and currently downloading some basic model for this and here is our interface running so we have the same prompt similar to other applications from image process we can train ours have a different models let's select same the model preloaded which kind of nice i hope they will keep it um same place as well build inside hugging face or cdi which is kind of nice interrogation of the client agent schedule browser system informations and extension so actually it's work very good i do like how it's installed and right here we have our all of them already installed let's go ahead click update all our extensions and update is done i think we can go try let's go ahead and try fluffy bunny hiding with the zombie carrots I go we'll see how this one just to add a filter 512 so everything same and notice we have a control net here available and let's click generate okay and I got error come up says error model is not loaded so some kind of error happening I'm going to close this one and let's go maybe restart it so we'll go stop again and I can see we have some warnings right here, some errors coming up. I think it's because we have an Excel model. Let's go back to checkpoint. We have a few of them installed. Let's go model browser and we'll just go install maybe a basic checkpoint 1.5. And this one still be giving me error. So if I press on this, you can see maybe it's wrong connection or something going on there okay let's go scroll down i'll we'll just download this one as well well till it's download models let's go also download different packages see if it will work with this so i'm going to click add package and we're going to select comp ui branch master so we'll just give it the same and let's go click install okay it seems like this package install it let's go ahead and launch this one as well seems like launch okay let's open ui and i'll just move it to this screen this is our standard comfy ui if you never used it before not base it just go ahead connect it everything and we'll just execute it so we have right here checkpoint okay let's see what checkpoint we have it let's have counterfeiter so we don't have it that we'll just select something else let's go select this one mix okay 
and it is processing so it's actually nice it's working and nice things you can probably run them at the same time multiple okay right here we have our our comfy working let's go ahead and stop this server and I do like this option I do the option of the um that we can go to our lunch and have it all different type of the launching DPN. Maybe need to install also automatic 11.11, but it is very useful interface. Of course, they will have it some problems because variety of those different libraries can work together. But I think in general, it is very useful too. So I will go leave it link for you down below. Hopefully you'll have it fun. And most important, hopefully you're going and explore new different type of the packages. So instead this too, you can also go and install maybe other ones and see which one you like it. It's best way to explore. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and share. Thank you again and have a great day.